so it's grocery haul time again. Um, I've got Walmart, Neighborhood Market, Aldi's, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, and I went ahead and decided to leave in all of my husband's stuff because he still has carbs, as most of you know, and he still eats carbs. So I thought it'd be fun to just leave everything that I got out and do it all at once. So I'll try to go through everything quickly because there is a lot of stuff. I've got fresh parsley, romaine, big bag of broccoli, got two avocados, some Roma tomatoes, zucchini, asparagus, frozen cauliflower. I'm gonna try to do um, like a cauliflower mash with the frozen and see if it's just as good. It's gotta be easier than breaking apart the cauliflower and boiling it and de-stemming it and all that. So we're gonna try frozen. I've got yellow onion, purple onion, and we've got chicken tenderloins, or chicken breast tenderloins, and that was $8.64 at Aldi's, and it is almost three pounds. And then I found these at Walmart, and this is the original smoked sausage, and Chipotle and Monterey Jack. They both have really good carb counts. So, well, one gram of carb, no sugar, and two ounces. And I believe same for the smoked. Yep, one carb, two ounces, no sugars. Then I picked up some string cheese, mozzarella, and then this is a Wisconsin cheddar with like hints of Parmesan, and these are just cheese sticks. Heavy whipping cream from Aldi's. They've changed their brand in the labeling, but it's still zero carbs per serving. So that is good. I've got two eight ounce packages of mozzarella, two eight ounce packages of sharp cheddar, a dozen medium eggs, two um, eight ounce packages of Kerrygold unsalted, sour cream, this is the Aldi's brand and it's one carb per two tablespoons, whole chicken and they're still 95 cents a pound at Aldi's. I've got some ground beef chuck, American cheese slices. This is the deluxe version and I found this is like the only way that I can have American cheese on keto because it only has one carb per slice. All the other cheeses have two, three, and four carbs per slice. The American cheeses that is. And sometimes I just really want American cheese. So this is how you get it. You get the deluxe, not the ones that are pre-wrapped. This comes together like in a big block. Breakfast sausage patties. And this is from Aldi's. I have not tried these yet. I have a friend that does keto and he says they're good, so I'm gonna give him a go. And we've got one carb per patty, which isn't too bad, zero sugars. These are the individually wrapped tilapia fillets from Aldi's. We've got two packages of bacon, a big bag of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. These are actually for my dog. And we've got some buffalo ranch. And this is two carbs per two tablespoon. Some fire Taco Bell sauce, zero carbs. I picked these up at Aldi's. They sell them at Walmart as well, but they were a little bit cheaper at Aldi's. You get seven packs, there's 100 calories in each pack, almonds and walnuts, and it only comes out to one carb per pack. So that's awesome, those would be nice to take to work. My favorite coffee, the French Vanilla 8 o'clock. Two bags of pork rinds, and I found these at Aldi's. They had barbecue, um, kettle, corn, and white cheddar. And they have zero carbs. I didn't quite look at the ingredients. I don't see any sweeteners, but I thought that these this would be awesome to put on a plain pork grain, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. Parmesan Romano, just some regular table salt, garlic powder, chili powder, Oh, this is for my husband. This is the Honey Roasted Crunchy Peanut Butter by Peter Pan. Lots of carbs, lots of sugar, don't touch it. Um, but he likes to have this for his lunch. And I've got a big container of the Luan Refined Coconut Oil. Some Zesty's Dill Velastic Pickles. Minced Garlic. And this is just an Aldi's brand. Some razors. And the energy, this is like the knockoff of the Mio, and I like the strawberry kiwi. 
These are also for my husband. They're the clear waters, but they're also keto friendly if you're okay with, you know, aspartame and all of that. Um, zero carb, zero sugar, all of that. And they come in lots of flavors. They are very good. These are the carby foods that I buy my husband. I don't touch any of these and really none of them are trigger foods for me or temptations for me. They're just things that he likes to have because he absolutely refuses to go keto. But we've got hot dog buns, a loaf of potato bread, tortilla chips, popcorn, cliff bars for his breakfast, and then he found these. He's gonna have these the nights that I work and he cooks for himself. There's a chicken and broccoli, and then a Philly cheesesteak, bananas, limes, yogurt, salsa. Salsa is not too bad in carbs, but I, you know, if I eat salsa, I don't know what I'm gonna have it on aside from eggs or tortilla chips, so. Then we have some Splenda or Sucralose sweetener. He puts this in his tea and his coffee. I do not anymore, I'm strictly Stevia. So the Family Dollar, um, one of the Family Dollars here in town is going out of business. They did like a huge closeout sale. Everything in the store was like 50 and 25% off, all of the marked items. So I went in and I picked up a couple of things. These are scrub pants and they ended up being $4 a piece. Um, some of the wax melts that I like to use in my wax warmer. This was a dollar and then 25% off of that. Birthday cards, they were all 75% off and all the cards I got were a dollar, so they were all 25 cents a piece. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got eight like birthday cards, get well cards, all of that, just to have on hand for last minute things. Some command hooks, which I actually needed. And it was three, then another 50% off of that. Some magnesium, this was $5, I think, and then another 50% off of that. Some hair color, in which I actually needed, and they, it was seven for the two boxes, which is really good. Just some stomach relief, um, like Pepto-Bismol tablets, half off and then a big bottle of Gain dish soap, and this was 25% off of the $2. This um, allergen reducer for Breeze, and it comes with like a Swiffer duster. I didn't really need all of that, but I did want some for Breeze, and this was 25% off the four. And these items are all from the Dollar Tree. So I picked up some of these disposable coffee cups. I mentioned these in my last haul. They work amazingly, super convenient. I love them, and you get five for a dollar, so not so bad. Freezer bags, aluminum foil, some creamer for my husband, not keto friendly, some sides for him. These are just like the Noor sides. I've got like cheddar broccoli, chicken, and the mashed potatoes. Those are all a dollar a piece, obviously, at the Dollar Tree, and he uses those um, as his sides for dinner. Um, some sponges, two for a dollar. Two of these metal tins. It is, what, seven by five. I'm gonna try to do a couple of freezer meals. This is three of them to have, to, to go throw in the oven on nights that I work late. Some napkins, some toilet paper. And then this is obviously not keto friendly. <laughs> but my husband really wants to pass out candy this year. This is the first time we've been in a house since we've been married, so we really want to sit out and pass out candy. So I got the candy bowl, and this is all Dollar Tree, by the way. Some, I don't know, those candy cigarette sticks. Some bones. Suckers, this is like 40 suckers for a dollar. Some more suckers, there's 20. And then these little vampire teeth that taste like watermelon, I guess. I don't know. But it's all candy that I have absolutely no interest in, so it should be okay. <laughs> and then I decided, because it's my first time, I don't know how convenient this will be, but I want to give out little toys or party favors with the candy. So I've got some eyeballs, two packs of pencils, and you get 12 in each one. And they're super cute pencils. Um, some tops. Some little party favor knocker things look like skeletons, erasers, and then two big boxes of stickers. There's 18 sticker boxes with eight stickers in each one in here, and I got two of those. 
and then this super cute container to put it all in. So I'll have the candy for the kids and then a little toy for the kids to get. And then the last two items are just some paper towels from Aldi's and a 24 pack of bottled water from Aldi's. That's it for my big grocery haul. I hope everyone enjoyed. Um, I felt like they were kind of getting um, repetitive. I was buying and getting the same things every week. And then I've never showed you, of course, the carb foods I get my husband. And then I usually don't show you the non-food items. So I thought I would mix it up a little bit and kind of show you everything that I got this time. Make it a little bit more interesting. If you have any questions about anything that I got or the carb counts or nutritional information of any of the products or even the prices, just leave that down in the comment box below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great week.